What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the 12th Read Me podcast. My name is Bonica. And I'm. Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm Yulanji. Yes, and he is also very sleepy. Sorry about missing out last episode, but let's just get to the stuff. So last week we didn't get to do the podcast because we were in Jaffna. Yes, for, it's, it's kind of for, hard to do a podcast when you're about 400 kilometers away from your recording equipment. Is it 400 kilometers away? No, I think and it's more the like internet. 300. Oh, the internet was so bad. There was internet. Bali. So we didn't get to do anything in Jaffna other than cover the event, which but was Jaffna pretty was really, much really fun, though. It was really we, fun. We were there for and, the Jaffna ITV, which is basically. It was, it was a two-part program. So come had the whole future careers thing where they brought together a huge number of students from all over Jaffna to, um, to listen to industry experts talking about BPO. Like, it was a very rosy picture of working in, B, in B, IT BPO, honestly. There were like there were girls playing pool in the videos and all that. But uh, by and large... The videos were pretty <laughs> misleading. Yeah, yeah because, <laughs> because honestly, like in the videos, all they ever showed was a girl playing snooker and explaining what ITBP is. Honestly, if one of my employees played that much snooker, I would just fire them. <laughs> but yes, it was a pretty fun event. We have the Jaffna IT Week live blog on the website, and we're also working on the Jaffna IT Week video, which will be coming up in a few days, let's say around three to five. Indeed. And yeah, that was pretty much it for Jaffna IT Week. It was fun, everything was covered, so there's not really much point in talking about it. So shall we move on? Uh, yeah, by all means, let's move on. So a lot of stuff happened this week in terms of Ceylon Today and Google. I'm going to let Yudha do his thing about Ceylon Today because he's going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, Google released two new features. Well, I wouldn't necessarily call one of them a feature, but if... You've been in Sri Lanka. If you've had internet access, one thing you know about is called Google Maps. Now, Google Maps is like the life source of all travel in the world. And if you don't have Google Maps, you'll probably be lost 99% of the time unless you're actually really good with roads, which is, it's pretty common. Eh? People manage to figure out the roads somehow. I could never remember the roads if, it, if I didn't have Google Maps. But what uh, Google is doing is now from, uh, I think, three days ago or something along those lines, around the 12th of December, they are starting to come up with Sri Lankan Street View. Now, Street View is the feature that Google gives you where you can actually see what it would look like on the road. Now, if you've been, if you've gone to the Ameri American uh, Google Maps or UK or any other large country or a first world developed nation, you'll see that you can go through the entire street and there's a a uh, per third person view of the entire thing actually first person right a yeah, first person view of the entire thing and it is brilliant now the funny part is the fact that they chose to do it in this time of the year when the elections are going exactly. on exactly so what we're going to, what we're basically going to see is google maps and you zoom in and you see mahinda everywhere do you think they'll blur out the faces? Because what they usually do is they blur out the faces. So they're going to be blurring they're... out a lot of faces. Trust me, Google will have to hire <laughs> new people just to blur out these faces. It's going to be brilliant, though. That's what I can tell you. <laughs> it's going and... to be bloody expensive for Google. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they actually spent <laughs> enough money to get the car. Yeah, they and... bought a nice... It was a Hyundai, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a Hyundai Tucson or something along those lines, the... I believe. Yeah, you can, you can smash that into people and people will die. So it's just always nice. But I mean, just imagine, right? Just a whole Google Maps is covered with behind the pictures everywhere. Damn. It's, it's going to be really fun. The, the article is up on the website. You can go ahead to readme.lk and read that. And another fun thing is that Google released Google Translate for Singular properly. And we believe, I mean, it's still kind of beta, but it works. Now, how it works is it used it didn't really have singular translate before. And now if you go into Google Translate and type hello, they will give you the response, are you born? And you can actually see are it. Are you born? Yeah. And it's it written in full Unicode, right? Are you looking for? Uh, well, uh, it, <laughs> it has to you be You did said not that just do that. I, I did. I did. <laughs> and I did it on recording. But it has uh, to be said that uh, the Google Translate is, it's a fantastic thing to have. But at the end of the day, 
I would not rely on it for, let's say, translating readme.lk into Sinhala. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to use it to like translate the whole thing, yeah, but yeah. if it's you want to translate a massive article, basis. right? It, yeah, but I mean, even if you want to translate a massive article, what you could do is just copy paste it and then get the rough su- uh, understanding mm, of it, right? Well, no, actually, it doesn't work like that. It, it uh, directly turns words. No, 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 it's not a word. Tool. I tried some phrases. It actually It does did. pick up phrases, yes. But, but as I long mean, as the sentences, sentences are complicated. Yes. Pretty much. If it's short sentences that make sense, yes, they will translate it. And of course, I mean, like anything, it's going to take a while. After some time, they'll get used to it and then they'll start changing the algorithms. And eventually, at one point, right, the goal is to have you put a book in English, you get it out in singular, perfect punctuation, grammar and everything. Obviously, that's going to take a while, mm-hmm. but... Eventually, you never know. eventually it'll get to be... the point where we don't have to hire or look for Sinhala translators to get read me in Sinhala. And Google will do that for us. Ah, uh, I can hope. all the jobs. <laughs> Man, I really mean, hope. Google is pretty much replacing an entire industry. Yeah. There, right? there are people who translate, who translate for a living and living. if this works, uh, they, are pro- they probably don't want Google to fix it properly because if it works, you don't really need that. I make I, I, there's also there's also something like this. Uh, now, now when the translate feature becomes why why am I eating so many strepsils? Right, when the translate feature becomes more accessible to everybody, yeah. um, the high quality translation is still going to very much be a human thing. At least in the next uh, three to four years, it's still going to be yeah, a human pretty much. thing. So I don't really see this I mean I'm not saying it's going there's going to be a drastic change recently I'm going to say that there might be a change in the industry 10 years from now yeah yeah yeah. a couple of years from now definitely okay so that's about it as far as did you actually see all the people posting the parodies of they type they uh, write stuff like if you write poop into Google Translate do you know what you get Mm mm-hmm I'm actually going to just type that in right now because I can't remember exactly, but it was just brilliant in so many other levels. Uh, what you get is, hold on, what you get is Badavelen Avat Milen Vedi. Now, oh, wow. how that translates to poop, I have no idea. Probably I guess take people hidden in by a, like, but these are all volunteer translators, right? They sneak in. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> It's pretty fun, though, Badawelling Aarat Milat Thadi. We should call this podcast Badawelling Aarat Milat Thadi, ne? I mean, it's great. It's a parody, but it's eventually going to get itself fixed, and hopefully in a few years we'll have a really good version up and running. But for the time being, we have this. It works, so we'll keep that for now. We have a Badawella. And now and, proceeding yes. on to the topic of the day. Oh my God! The topic of the year. Topic of the year. Sell on today. Somebody shoot me. Seriously. That could, that could be arranged. Uh, well, well. I mean, you'd have to. But um, first, let's shoot these buggers. Let's check this out. Um, Sell on today basically published an article about graphics cards. Now. We don't really have an issue with that. What we do have an issue with is how blatantly stupid the article is. It's a, this is the title. How important the VGA to the performances of your computer. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. That's actually the title. It goes on. <laughs> with the same accent and everything. It, it, you mentally apply this accent on reading it. Because the English, like let alone the technical details, which are so horribly flawed, right, that if anybody from NVIDIA saw this, they would just shoot themselves, and then they would come back and shoot whoever the editor of this is. But but <laughs> but like, are, are you sure? Maybe they would shoot the editor first. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, how how these big newspapers works is there's a huge editor at the top, and then there are lots of sub editors under him. So I doubt the editor actually saw this because you know, unlike us, where I have to go through all the text, they have people working for them. So, but somebody really screwed up somewhere down the line, right? Let alone the blatant um, technical inaccuracies of the article, the the sheer misspelling, the sheer number of misspelling, grammatical mistakes, and this is so huge. It's just unimaginable. It's a new level of incompetence. It's like somebody purposefully studied Shakespeare and the works of John Milton and then set out to write the exact opposite. 
like somebody can, can, can we actually have some examples of that article uh, because it's really all right fun. all right um let's see let's see um uh, well just before you say that right what for you to get an idea of what this article is going to entail it's it's when you cry tears of joy and tears of sorrow at the same time. Dual core processor was considered good lately, but now it does not support most of the games. The cheapest Alienware laptop is purchased for RS 400,000, even though it is expensive than other laptops. There is a uniqueness of the product that lasts long and it is provided with a brand new VGA. I'm sorry, did, it just, did, you, did you actually say it's provided with a brand new VGA? Yeah, 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 oh my god, they don't give a second hand graphics cards. Holy shit. If a person is interested in gaming, the most popular gaming laptop purchase in the market is the Alienware laptop, and this produced is... <laughs> you, know, you, know how Alienware, you know how Alienware sells the Alienware laptop? <laughs> like, like the Alienware laptop? Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. With NVIDIA's invention of the GPU, forget the fact that they misspelled NVIDIA at every possible opportunity. NVIDIA <laughs> had become the GPU, period. And the biggest, the biggest, the weirdest thing about this is they spent the first two paragraphs defining VGA, a transmission standard, perfectly fine. Then they spent the entirety of the article referring to graphics cards as VGA. So I don't get what you're talking about here. Are you talking about graphics cards or are you talking about a transmission medium? Dude, does, does AMD actually make transmission mediums? I didn't know that. Wow. It's, it's I'm just still, I'm so still bad. laughing about the fact that NVIDIA made the GPU. Uh, NVIDIA made... The, see, the problem is this. Like, we actually spend time and effort and we research our articles and we write. Yes, at the end of the day, we're not the most uh, grammatically accurate or I would say we're not the best journalists. I would look up to Ars Technica or things like that. Hell, the Verge isn't good, but Ars Technica is good. Um... Wow, the, 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 day, the Verge isn't good. Yudanjir, 2014. The Verge, the Verge, no, the Verge just became shitty after they released the iPhone 6. It's just, look at that. It's just a clickbait these days. They talk about, then ever since that feminist rant got published about that bloke's shirt, the Verge just became shitty for me. But this is terrible, right? When a writer can do this, when two, this was written by two people, when two idiots can do this and get it published on a print paper, that is circulated nationwide. <laughs> and when people actually have to do their research and, you know, write good articles to be published on the web, what the hell? We might as well just write garbage and give it to a local paper. Or just let Google Translate do everything. Or let cause... Google Translate, dude. You, uh, well, basically, my theory on this is this. They were testing the Infinite Monkey Theorem. If you're not familiar with that, the Infinite Monkey Theorem is a... It's well, it was formally postulated in scan format by in 1913 by a French mathematician, but it's been there for a long as time. What it states is that a monkey hitting the keys of a typewriter at random for an infinite length of time will eventually produce a collected works of Shakespeare. One monkey, half a broken typewriter, and I think about 15 minutes would suffice for this article. Google Translate could do a better job of this when it was in alpha, let alone beta. So, honestly, I do not see the point of this kind of journalism. This is like a drop in stance because, I mean, somebody has to at least monitor the English of this. If you're a national paper, for God's sake, you don't... But they did, it a, they did it another time, right? They yeah, they did, they did it another time. They published an article about Lumias. We didn't want to write anything about that because, honestly, we didn't want to bash them so much. It was just a waste of our web space. Um, they had referred to Carl C's as Carl series and... Uh, they had spoken about Lumia's, this is so many things that it just wasn't funny anymore. We'll, we'll put the list at the bottom so you can read it and laugh for yourself. Honestly, it's, it's really good material. If you're feeling depressed, right? If you're <laughs> you having a bad day, day. Yes, if you are having a bad day and if you are feeling worthless, read these articles and realize that you cannot possibly be as worthless as the guys who wrote this. Never in your life will you be ever that worthless. But with that, we shall wrap up today's videos. Really? Are we done? Is there anything else to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, lots, lots, lots. Lots. Oh, lots okay. Game. We actually have stuff. Um, all right. Um, bugger. Hold on. There's vitamin E all over my mouse now. Why is there vitamin E all over your mouse? Good. I don't know. Ask the vitamin E tablet <laughs> that broke in my hand. Right. I'm pretty sure it's all the tablet's fault. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, you know that Facebook was using Bing, right? Yes. Okay, so Facebook no longer uses Bing. Oh, yes, I heard. What was the reason behind that, actually? I'm not sure, but 
uh, it's actually quite interesting to see how this is going to play out because Bing has been alive not because of their website yeah, but because yeah. you know major services like Facebook and iOS Siri they use Bing as a search engine behind them. Um, Facebook dropping out is actually a huge hit. That's like that's like one point that's, something that's, billion. That's half of Bing. <laughs> that's half of Bing gone off the map, and uh, there's no particular reason given for this. Um, it's just that you know Facebook probably thinks they can do something better. Hell, they might build their own search engine. Facebook is pretty much it's, a search engine, right? Facebook is it's well it's. They have posts. They're a huge content site, right? They have posts and the internal search engine that holds everything together was apparently Bing until now. Yeah. Uh, and it also has search results through the web, not yeah, just in Facebook.com. Exactly. So, I mean, it's one of the largest search. It's in the top five. I know the first is Google and the second is YouTube. Mm, yeah, it's one of the largest searched. Um, it's, it's, it's like this. You have pockets of information all around the globe, right? So yeah, I, I get how it works. It's, it's still considered a search engine though. Is it? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Like, same thing with YouTube, right? It has a massive amount of videos mm -hmm. and you only search through those videos that is only on YouTube.com. However, uh, right, it is right, still right. considered so a search engine. Kind of an intranet of sorts, right? Yeah, there. pretty much. All right. So basically, um, the US might be in for a bit of a gangbang reason uh, <laughs> in the future. Iranian hackers apparently have uh, US energy and defense firms in their sites. There is something called Operation Cleaver, which has which has basically been uh, which has spread across 16 countries, including the United States. Uh, and the FBI has had to take steps to warn businesses in the U.S. to be on watch against advanced Iranian uh, hacking operations. The, well, we don't really know much about this. That's the FBI's precinct, but we're guessing they're going after defense contractors, energy firms, and for some reason, educational institutes. So what it looks like from monitoring the Twitter tags. The U.S. Navy also has laser weapons. Wow, it's Christian laws. Literally, laser weapon system. <laughs> and Tim Berners-Lee is uh, on a rant about how the internet is no longer free for people. But here's something better. Mashable released a list called the best 10 tech companies to work for in 2015. Guess who number one is? I'm pretty. I'm making a pretty sure it's going to be Google. It is. It is number two. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Facebook. I'm sure Facebook got into that list. Company called F5 Networks actually. Facebook mm -hmm. is number three. Oh, so close. F5 Networks is two, which is interesting. What Adobe is F5 is Networks? Five. And Math Networks number six. Apple is seven. F5 Networks. Yeah. Interesting. Now, if we run a Google search on these guys, what pops up is a multinational American company which specializes in application delivery network and technology. Okay, that Netflix. was very clear to all of us. That was but I mean, MathWorks right? is brilliant. Yes. These guys apparently do a lot of... Um, <laughs> like, uh, F5 seems to have acquired Defense.net in 2014. Um, oh, they do like big boy stuff. Yeah, yeah, really large things apparently. Fortune 5, I'm um, not sure if they're Fortune 500, but they're rated among the top 10 best performing stocks by S&P 500 in 2010. So hmm. I'm guessing they're really out there. Uh, Qualcomm is around number four. Even better, you like this. Some bloke uh, has started implementing League of Legends in Dota. <laughs> He's actually been modding the Dota map to introduce League of Legends and what and the really cool part is you can actually well according to his roadmap you can actually play off heroes from both sides League of Legends and Dota against each other and you have items from like uh, both sides. I don't but know how do you compare over. exactly so at the end of the day that they're gonna get sued well Valve probably won't sue them they'll just pull the game or something but I'm not. I'm guessing that Riot, which owns League of Legends, is not exactly going to be happy about somebody implementing League of Legends inside Dota, a game which they are not exactly on familiar terms with. Uh, so if this, uh, that, that's one way to coin it. <laughs> that's one way to put a point. The other way is to point out that how many players does League of Legends have right now? I don't know, like 50, 30 million, 50 million, something along those lines. All right. So 30 million people right now hate Dota. <laughs> that's, uh... that's a very good way of saying it. And, uh, it, well, 
if it succeeds, if this whole map succeeds, sparks are going to fly. If it doesn't succeed, it's just going to go down under. Um, either way, I don't see this working out for him, but it is going to be amazing. And as soon as it comes out, if it does come out, I'm going to download it. I'm going to play it. Because, dude, <laughs> imagine Katarina going up against um, the Faceless Void. See, the thing is, I understand Katarina. I just don't understand. Void? Uh, yeah. You should play Dota. Well, I should, I should. <laughs> well, on that bombshell, ladies and gentlemen, we shall now return to our rooms and play Dota. And uh, have a good Well, not all of us, but thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And feel free to drop a comment as always. Thank you all for watching. My name is Banuka. And my name is Khan. And I'm not I, a terrorist. I can't believe I am not a terrorist. I, you ca I can't even. <laughs> I can't even. Get it? I can't even. <laughs> I can't. Pun, 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 pun. Uh.